Hello, Horace back with another episode of the Adani campaign. It's been about a week. Uh, last time we played, we had no problems. I did tweak the graphics again to try to see if I could make it a little more of a, a decent flow to gameplay. It doesn't lag so much in battles and the like. I think I hit a happy medium. Probably not going to tell much difference, especially with the uh, pixelation that occurs on my uh, recordings. But uh, it still looks pretty good. But yeah, it's got a little, little more uh, flow to it, I guess. Anyway, <clears throat> last time Neil Lamry was building up his army for defense here in Hibernia, and if necessary, to come against the Picts who have taken over Caledonian lands. And the Pictic, or the Caledonian king in charge of Ardio's claws are coming up into the frozen north near Tuestus. Looks like they may be making a bid to try to either take that or they'll just sit out here and raid. One of the two. I have renamed Olamri's army. It is now Astarte's Wall. Uh, it seemed appropriate considering it's a Britonic uh, heritage faction and uh, well, Astarte from Rome, Total War. Astarte was one of the temples you could build for uh, the Britons. And if you look at the icon, I did do an appropriate crow, which is Astarte's animal. <clears throat> Down here, I didn't realize just how appropriate the name of these guys was. The Wandering Warriors under Doratios. So, there's that. Doradios is becoming quite impressive, so we're not sure exactly how long he's going to stay loyal. But at the moment, looks like we're just going to be uh, going back and forth between Lisbon and Brigantium trying to destroy the uh, problem of public order penalties that seem to be all over the place over there. Looks like West Rome's going to lose Palmyra. Not Palmyra, really. Palma. Uh, Swaby are going at it with a small fleet and their king himself, Hermeneric. I do believe he'll take the city. There shouldn't be too much problems. We have an alliance, of course, with the Maurians, so as far as conquest on this side of the map, it looks like the rest is probably going to happen up here in Britannia, though we do have an alliance with the Britons, <clears throat> Britain faction. Uh, with their prince, Appius Kinna, and of course the Saxons control all of southern Britain, Lindinium, Carinium, and Camulodunum, which was the ancient Britannic capital of the Akeni. Up here in Scotland, the Picts are going to be potentially a problem, because they really are the odd man out. We don't have an alliance with them. We're not worried about the fact they have too many armies, and they already irritated the Caledoni to a certain degree that I imagine they're probably at war with them. <laughs> and I'd be right. So it might be a good idea to just go ahead and go for them. Gaul is doing really well. In fact, I kind Welcome. of really want... And let us be honored lines. by your attendance and your words. <clears throat> They'll Surely, go for a my noble friend, you can see the wisdom in giving a small subsidy to our coffers. I'm really thinking that would be a good idea. But, I'm looking at the Franks too, and they are huge. They're improving as well. There's a good pork roasting for you. But they and won't even do... ale and mead set aside. They won't even do a regular... <clears throat> excuse me. A regular uh, military land. So... Or Be most lands. welcome. Your words will find... There we go. Defensive alliance with Gaul. set up a pretty good boost and they really don't mind so I'm happy with it they actually do have an alliance with Gaul don't they? yep, defensive alliance 
So that worked out well. Alright, and I would imagine, yeah, they're probably not going to like each other because they're going to go to war here shortly. If that happens, I'll take over southern Britain. So I know it looks like we're kind of stuck in a position where we're not really at war with anyone. I'm all right with it for the moment, because believe me, that is gonna change. The auguries are clear. The gods demand blood. Let us prepare for war. I'll be at war with Espana. Yeah, of course I failed that. Espana, future resolve. Likia, united against us, is Africa. Really? Well then. Carthage looks nice. Let's go to Carthage. In a minute. We're still working on this, I guess. We got sight hounds. Goat herd. What other building do I have up here? Do I have anything as far as food? No, I don't. So, yeah. We'll do that. Even though the public order is a negative one. Ah, oh, that's so aggravating. But I want it. So uh, yeah. Well, they can be at war with me. Africa really has no capacity to come up and strike. So can't say I'm too upset about it. I'm trying to think of what I what I want to work on now as far as building this army up. Some nice cheap Celtic spears. Some Gallo Gla. Uh, Celtic Warband. Celtic Band. Axe Warriors might be nice. I don't have any axes. That'll work, and then if I can, I'll try to get it on. Neos looks great. We can move up more attacks our prince to Elder. We could do the same with Doratios, which seems like a good idea. And Ola Marie is still sitting there doing his thing. I don't know if he's actually going to amount to anything. It'll be interesting to find out. There we go, negative 10 to corruption, that'll give us a little more money, although at this point, probably not any at all. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think that's going to come in any handy anywhere, so... Alright. So I want to take the sea, 
and get after him. And at this point, I really think maintaining my hold here on my Iberian colonies would probably be a good idea. him off. Or ignore. Oh, where am I? We'll pay him off for now. Three. We got plenty of that. By the way, um, the mod I'm using did upgrade. We were gonna do this, so Rangers Camp. Good. Not that at the moment. It looks like I'm gonna have the potential to do much with it, but that could change. But, anyway. The mod did update, and it's now called. Radius Gold Edition. So, Total War Radius Gold Edition for Attila. So, that um, is probably going to stay. Uh, I'm still going to stay with the uh, mods listed in Episode 1 because it's really the same mod, it's just they updated it. But, ready for battle! Just so you were, if anyone was curious, or if anyone's using this mod, worth it. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, we need the Olaf Marie to be a lot more loyal. It's a 6 out of 10. That's a little too low for my liking. These early, early turns, man, they, they kind of Slowly go down. Wow, there's a Frankish army sitting all the way down here in Iberia. And that would be why, because the Franks have taken Narbo. Huh. Okay. Well. Saxons have Alusa and Vertigala. I don't like that. Where does that go? I'm not sure what's going on in the eastern part of the map, but I think we might want to pay attention to it. If we can. Took him out. Plus three loyalty for La Marie. Good. We'll turn this to a raider's gathering place. Because we can definitely do it. Oh, yeah. That will work. done there. I'm thinking I don't have a... well, I do actually. I have motor here. It's 177 upkeep. I'll do it. Why not? Ready for order. So Starte's walls will be finished in one turn. Let's see what we got on the map. Picks. 
deteriorating as appropriate. The angles are sitting up here slowly, wandering around with a strength rating of 56. So they got their butt handed to them. Yo, oh, yeah. Danes, they do not like me and they're continuing to not like me, no matter what. Franks are improving and they have quite the kingdom. It's like a sliver all down the Rhine, along the Alps, and down here along the Mediterranean, so that's interesting. Gaul is getting hemmed in. I don't like that. They are aggressive. They are at war with Nobatia, Lazica, Eastern Romans, and Western Romans. It seems kind of pointless to be at war with them because West Rome is pretty much just... I'm gonna go on Naples. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, we are at war with Africa and all the rest of these guys. Apparently Africa had a... well it says they had a military alliance with the Alamans? Well, that means they're not gonna like me much. Herabald is his name, or something like that. Uh, Shrink Raider 47 also look like they've got destroyed is the Geats, who are not liking me by the second. Espana? Deteriorating. I don't like that. Hail! As requested, I give ear to your just and undoubtedly noble requests. Let's work on that. There we go. Military alliance with them. And... We, we already got a military alliance with them. So, we have an alliance of sorts in Spain. And North Africa. Which is super great. Let's, uh, do a war coordination target. This should be fun. Have all of our allies go against uh, Africa. Which seems more likely to be useful than for me to sail all the way over there just to get it. So the Abdani don't have much territory, but they have a ton of influence. Spread. Our ancestors have spoken, and they have named you as true wow. friends. Do we dare ignore the other world? That's interesting. They don't... I mean, they're indifferent with empires, culturally intolerant, temperamental, and aggressive. But they want a defensive alliance with me. That's... really interesting. Uh, not only that, but they're a horde. And hordes generally don't form alliances. <laughs> I'll take it. Sure. Wondering if it's a trick though. Maybe they'll squat on my land. That would not be good. So I'm rather impressed that Britain has actually managed to survive for the last while. Granted, we haven't done much pillaging or raiding yet, but we'll get there. A trade empire. Oh, there's Africa. Africa's now Latin Christian. Okay. Interesting. Mounted Spear Raiders for the garrison. Plus six to Squalor. We can definitely do it. That's only two more. Public Order plus three. Yeah, sure. Why not? That is for a Raider's base. So Brigantium is a very strange city. Could go even further up here to Erdini, Erdini Cavalry and Abdani Cavalry Raiders, Mormare and Round Shield Raiders, but 
only I got the capacity to really do that. I am gonna get rid of them. It's gonna be more expensive, I think. Average missile block, high health, good armor. Excellent capture, spotting, and high health for mounted spear raiders. So we'll just go with them, the cheaper version. These right here we can probably leave too and get Fight with us. It's a good life. Ah, eh, we'll just do Fight that for us, now. Alright. What a strange world. Of Gaul, Kenna, is it? My people are in danger. Can you not join with us and attack these dogs? No, sorry, man. You're on your own. As I was saying, the Prince of Gaul is sitting in Rotomagus, which is the modern city of Rouen. I believe it's on the mouth of the song. I could be wrong. looking very fertile. That's the river that goes right in front of uh, I think it's Vertigala. And the West Roman Empire is gone. There it is. Year 402. It didn't even survive Honorius. <laughs> Historically. Number of forces that can be fielded have increased. That's great. Community markets is up. Italian and Vicinios is now mean. That's not good. So my great king is not a happy camper, I guess. Alright, so we got that. That gets us our fishing wharf, which we wanted. I'm going to go on, we probably want to get that town built next, so we're going to go for that, and then we're going to hit that one. So four turns. Definitely have the money. We got two armies, one super strong and one less so. Though it ain't, you know, it's not bad. And we can't get a Raiders Hall, not yet anyway. I'll give Public Order plus four. So yeah, I mean that's 120% all forces in adjacent areas and rating income. That's pretty impressive. That's over double. Well over double. Alright. Still nothing. Uh, Penios, governor. Could put him up there. Wealth plus four for agriculture versus construction costs alone. I would honestly rather just keep him where he's at. You may not like it, but honestly, it makes the most sense. The Eagles of Tania are actually coming all the way over here to take me on. Meanwhile, the Principate is sitting there. Sales of Con what? Sales of Constantine. Boy, they've embraced Latin Christianity like crazy, haven't they? That didn't take long. Okay, so what do we got here? We got Elisipo. Time to raise a fleet. Steadfast defender, sage, logistics expert. The morale when defending. Versus replenishment. We'll do the replenishment. Raise fleet. Ready. 
see what specials I can give you. Construction costs aren't going to do me much good. And eh, we'll do Bejeweled Mincer, that gives me a plus four to research. And we'll do a Pelum because the loaded dice don't really come in play there. Because you can't apparently assassinate someone in a fleet. Assembling Seems the fleet. Odd. We're gonna need a bigger fleet. Okay, we'll do that. Long fodder. And long fodder. With white. Okay. So we will want to do a coracle with um, Bowman and elite Celtic Marauders. Yep. We are going to need a bigger fleet. Assembling the fleet. And then we'll do assembling the fleet. We need more ships. That. So that's three turns. We get Noden's Wrath. Boy, we're just. Pulling out all the ancient ones, aren't we? Nodens was, uh, believed the dog headed, or the dog. One of the guys associated with dogs in Celtic mythology. He was hunting, I believe. I think I will rename them, though. Our ancestors have spoken, and they have named you. You do that. I like you. Now, I don't think you'll survive, but... <laughs> if you think I'm playing conservative, there's a reason for that. I can't build a strong empire without getting the attention of the great equalizer that is Attila who is currently eliminating a swath of civilizations to the east and making his way west. He hates the Western Empire, but with them destroyed, he should turn his attention to the Eastern Empire or the next biggest empire around. Latin Christianity or Septimania. So Latin Christians are all over the place. Okay, I so said I was gonna change the name of this, so I am. Appropriate deal, we're gonna do Noden's Hounds. Not spelled with an SC. I'll look for an appropriate. thing. Standard. If we can find one. Lots of pigs. That might be the best we got, and the wheel represents uh, speed, so no sound. And the Wandering Warriors. Yep. That's about it. That's all we can do. There's going to be some major health concerns in that province, I'm noticing. Right. What we got going on here? Oh, Power Command, that's right. Okay. I am impressed at the fact that there is more than map that isn't just nuked. Now that might be partially due to the mod. It may eliminate the capacity or even the intention of these guys to do stuff like that. The Lombards have shown up. Well, you know what? I'll join the war with you. Greetings! Speak you want plainly and without idle purpose, and all will be well. The war against the sure thrust hmm? strikes hmm? home. Up. No? Why not? Yeah, okay. That worked. I look forward trade? to your wisdom. No. Uh. And I noticed 
I got other factions that are around here that love me that don't have trade. So Be let's welcome. get trade going. Illyria. Hail. Trade. As requested. Really? Okay, final offer. There we go. And Italia, I thought Hail. you were destroyed. As requested, I give. Ostrogoths. I look forward to your wisdom. And the Quadi. Good and noble friend. So anybody wants to cause me problems, they're really gonna Welcome, have. Welcome, worthy friend. And cats close to home do not like me. But wow, we just got ourselves a trade empire now. And I mean a trade empire. We are trading with the remnants of the Western Roman world, including at Aquilia and Salona, which is impressive. We got some winding little empires all through here. We are, of course, at war with a new faction now, so we're gonna send Olamri all the way south with Astarte's Wall. We're gonna take Corinum because we want to take it before the Saxons do. I think we can. I really do. I call now for you to take to arms against these human wolves. Give your warriors leave to fight. No, I won't fight the Danes. And you have a full stack. You should be able to take some of the territory if you really wanted to. Feeling they just want to draw me into that fight. And why in the world would I aid the Danes in trying to make a North Atlantic Empire? Or a North Sea Empire as it is. King's Market is now available. Commerce is encouraged for it is the road to prosperity for all. If you want things, chances are they can be found here. Now that is a reason to take Carthage. Fleet ready! Steady as we go! Okay, well. All you know hands what? to the oars! Is we'll there here. nothing else? <laughs> and we'll stay at sea because it's winter. We time that well. Where do they think they're going? I guess they're going to Tomasiga, which that's fair, I guess. Pointless, but fair. You know, we got the navy there, so I'm really feeling like it would be a good idea to sail to Africa. But we're gonna march across instead. Across the river. Alright. If we could take Africa, you know, specifically Carthage, set up a great market there, I feel like that would be well worth it. Well worth it. Oh, 
ironically, we became a merchant faction. Very strange. But we are on the edge of the known world, thus we're a bit exotic. People would want our goods, as people tend to do whenever they get new and exotic things. We're all Britain against the Caledonian. Well, I guess I have to. Way to go, Caledoni. I'm not gonna abandon them just because of that. Well, that complicates matters. The sun has been blotted out during the day, causing the land to fall into darkness. Many have prayed to their gods, believing that such an event heralds the end of the world. Bad omen. Negative two public order. Wonderful. Labor service. You can request protection from me. I can request labor from you. Okay. Two of Mincer and Britain and Caledonia are at war. Okay. Let's do that so we can unlock the third tier town. Bigger garrison, more money. On the move, lads. We will march on. Your next command? For the tribe. And I feel like that's probably a good spot right there. So we'll wait. And up here, eh, we can get that, so why not? A little more sanitation is always a plus. Your orders? Olamri has gone up. I guess we'll do that there then. Yeah, so just his expert plus two to replenishment and wolf. So he's got plus six to melee attack for all men under his control. That's pretty good actually. Returning to shore! Well, I'm not going to fall for it. Corinum is... Oh, that's why. Because <laughs> they took Londinium with that army. Well, oh, fair enough. We'll, we'll smash them. I think. How big is this garrison? Not big at all. We need to bolster. So, new army. Steadfast defender. Sounds great. The Tassos. Uh, we something cheap. Good fighters. Come fight for us, lads. That's pretty good. We all we'll need Ready super for expensive orders. for this thing. So we'll get that because it's probably useful. Teague for range guys, yeah. Because if he becomes in charge of the garrisons, that's gonna help. Alright, that should at least do something. If nothing else, I've got the uh, Warlords group there, so that's a good deal. We are losing money, I know, but not by much. We'll make it back. He's a governor. Yeah, we'll work on that public order, get it up.
Dratika has died, that's sad. Bailiffs. Good. Jeweled Mincer is gained again. Not sure why he left. Judea as at war with the Eastern Romans. Irinians against the Danes. The Alamans have converted to Latin Christianity. So, wow, they're com the conversion of Europe to Latin Christianity is intense. Alright, so we definitely got enough we can do that. How about here? 50? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. It's gonna be a pretty big city like that. And yeah, we, we can't afford it here. <laughs> oh well. We get it next time. That would give us the so terrain would be useful in the canals. Uh, we're gonna go for that though, so we get the plus one public order from everywhere. Warriors Lay siege to their hovels. Take that place. I think at this point we're gonna raid it. Thirsty for battle. Because we wanted to stabilize them first. Still don't have enough. Wow. Ready for battle. Move out. Getting on our way. That army is full. Well, that could be a problem. Okay, so how far away can I go? We'll go back into allied territory, why not? Your next command. That's not bad. That'll stop him from getting too powerful. The forest wolves under Ragnar will be our foe for Olamri, I'm thinking. Orders. Speaking of which, Olamri, who are now a companion. Good job. So, yeah. Oh, because it's 5,000, that's right. I forgot to move that army in Africa, dang it. Only the greatest dare speak of yeah, peace, peace to their enemy. No problem. I really don't care. Just don't take on the Britons, please. And with that, we'll eliminate that army and go back to just being... being safe up here in the far north. Pointed all on Marie of Obstinus companion. Okay, so he has gotten companion no problem because he got Caledoni at peace with me. Wonderful. We definitely have the money now, so. There we go. Warriors all! Starting out. Go right across the border and raid. Take what you Why can. Not? Cause it's what we do. 
Yeah, that causes a little bit of a problem. Fine with it. March them on their way to Caesarea. We're about halfway there to Carthage. That should be nice. This fleet's not exactly sure what it's doing. If it gets any closer, I'm going to be able to attack it. Technically, I could probably already attack it, but I couldn't do much with it. We'll go ahead and get that so we can flesh it out with some archers. We got Astarte's walls devouring north of our ancient circle. We will eventually have Stonehenge under our control. Appropriate. She's 16, so when she does get of age, Enios is going to become part of the family. That's the idea anyway. That's how I'm able to secure power. Alright, well, this is where I'm going to leave it for now, though. Next time, we will continue to put pressure on Lombards, hopefully take over southern Britain, as it looks like we may have the opportunity to do so. Also, we'll have the wandering warriors in North Africa finally take Carthage, I hope. And then at that point, we'll build it into a mercantile, uh, metro a mercantile metropolis. Let's get our words out. And once that's the case, then we ought to be able to uh, really break into money as money makes the armies uh, march. Just as sure as food. And as far as that goes, looks like we're doing real good with food, so we want to stay with that. But we're going to end it here. Until next time, I will see you later.